Sycamore fans were able to hear football on Saturday morning at Memorial Stadium as Coach Kurt Mallory and his staff got to see how their group would respond in game-like situations with the first fall scrimmage. Uh, things you wanted to hear today is you wanted to hear football. You wanted to see us tackle. Uh, you wanted to you know, eliminate mistakes. I thought we still had too many uh, penalties that we shouldn't be, shouldn't be making. And we got to get that cleaned up. Uh, Eastern Illinois is right around the corner, and we got to get taken care of those those corrections, which we'll do. We'll get it uh, we'll get it ironed out and get better uh, come Monday. But uh, those things jumped out is where we got to improve. The defense was able to flex some muscle in the late game scenarios of two minute at the end of the scrimmage, which linebacker Jordan Jackson relishes about where this defense is heading as a unit. Uh, we're a high character team like we preach running to the ball and that's like that's how you build energy because earlier in the game you saw that we just ran to the ball we got a fumble we picked it up we tried to take it back to the house but it didn't happen but we play with a lot of energy a lot of juice that's how you got to play the game of defense like if you don't come in energy or juice you're gonna get smacked in the mouth and we want we're trying to smack people in the mouth we don't want to get smacked in the mouth switching back over to the offensive side of the ball i asked offensive coordinator jeff hicklinski on where his offensive unit has made the biggest strides this fall camp to say the least, it didn't take them long to answer. But definitely up front. Definitely up front. I think from an offensive line and tight end standpoint, I, I think you can really see it start to come together. And, and I think that without question up front, I think Daryl and Tyler both have done a great job in, in getting those guys ready to go and getting those guys to work as one. And that's that's really the whole key. You don't have to be the most talented up front, but they got to work as one. And we're starting to get to that point. It was nice to have. You know, a couple guys back who had been out during the week, you know, just with little stuff, nothing major, but just stuff that we needed to, you know, shore up and make sure they were they were getting healthy. So it was nice to have them back and going. And Jaquan Keys, who has been credited by Coach Mallory for reshaping his body this summer, is right on cue with Coach Eklinski on where he saw the highlights for the offense in the scrimmage. As a group, I feel like um, we can run the ball. Uh, o line is just amazing now. Like they they push each other, and we all just push each other up front. When the O line and uh, receivers go out there and block and run routes and do whatever it takes just to um, you know get better every day. So I feel like uh, as a group, everything is just getting better. There is never a lack of energy on the field, and at times today, penalty flags flew. That was a theme in the past in Terre Haute. This staff is making sure that theme is a mute point encourage them to do is it's energy and it's passion together with each other you know it's not individual energy and passion it's not I make a play and I and I single myself out to anybody it's it's we make a play as a unit and we celebrate as a unit all right and, and I think that that those are the steps that we're, we're, we're still taking the guys we're getting it but then again you know there's just always teaching that needs to take place and that's what we're here to do we're continuing to educate but we also understand that time is coming people mistake talking for playing hard, they mistake talking for being tough, and that's really what we've tried to communicate. We we understand what the issues are, you know. I mean, the first one of the first studies that I did when we got here was our penalty study, and we we put together the penalty study of, of where we were, and you know, we're the most penalized team the last two years. We're also the most penalized team with unsportsmanlike and taunting penalties over the last two years, and you can't win that one. Despite those penalties towards the end, Coach Wilson knows and believes improvements are being made on the defensive side of the ball. I, I, we were talking about it the other day as a staff, and I feel like there's a better understanding of the overall scheme and the big picture defensively than we've had ever since we've been here. And, and, and that, so that's encouraging, that the guys are really understanding exactly what's being coached, exactly what's expected, the ins and outs of every call. Um, and, and then from there, again, it just goes back to certain situations and understanding based on di down and distance or field position or personnel or you know time, time in the game, um, how those scenarios change and, and, and again, how you need to execute when the, when the, when the clock's you know, winding down and the game's on the line. Last full week of camp before classes begin next week, which is hard to believe which the rest of the weekend is going to be centered around a main objective for the staff. We're making decisions. And from, from now until we start back up on Monday, decisions are going to be made. And so this is a critical time for us, and, and we got to make sure we get it right, and that's where we're headed right now. We're headed right to the office. We're going to sit in, we're going to watch all the film, and we're going to make all the decisions that we need to make. Our coverage of fall camp will continue on Monday. Be sure to check out our extended interviews from the scrimmage today that will be posted right here on GoSycamores.com. Until Monday, reporting from Memorial Stadium, I'm Luke Martin. Family on two!